He is. Yeah, this is yeah. Roman Jr. High. Yeah, he's yeah. been around forever. Yeah. Now he's got TV show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah he does. Over. On the fly with Tony Fly. Right. So some Friday, though, at Lake of the Lifetime, we'll have you guys down and come grapple with us. For sure, man. Friday nights, we usually grapple, then we go sushi afterwards and kind of hang out and do right. boys' nights. Speaking of sushi, I've been really into it. I eat it all the time. Dude, I'm into it now. I am, too. I'm into work done, so I can't yeah. like, eat a sandwich or anything I got sold. That's just my excuse when the... And his opponent in the red corner, holding a record of six wins and only two losses. He's standing five feet, 10 inches tall, and also weighing in at 185 pounds. This man has a jiu-jitsu fighting style, and he's fighting out of Coon Rapids, Minnesota. He's representing the Warriors Cove. Ladies and gentlemen, Nate the Killer Meat sauce. How you doing? Good nice to meet you, sir. So, Dill, oh. we've got uh, John Tarrath, uh mm -hmm. against Nate Howe. Nate Howe, I'm very familiar with this guy. Yep, I know you are. Boom, boom. So I trained with him for quite some time at the Warriors Cove. Mm -hmm. Very good half guard, very good jiu-jitsu. Here we go. All right Center at kick. it. Oh. Some of the guillotine John with the arm in. Gets that takedown right away, yeah, huh? Popped it right out. And as you know, Dylan, Nate likes to be on his back, so he's comfortable here, and he's good, right? Very experienced in the half guard. His physique would say otherwise, but you would be surprised how agile this guy is. Mm -hmm. You look at him, and you don't think fighter, but... He, he went from a transition from a Uma Pilata to, to a, a triangle, triangle choke here. He's in the diamond position right now. Mm. He's trying to get the leg across, wow. but he's taking a lot of punches. And a lot of punches. Dylan is a high-level jiu-jitsu guy, understands the ground game as well as yeah. anybody. I've been all over the country, and he's my jiu-jitsu coach, and he's better, as good or better than anyone I've ever trained with. Thanks, bud. He's trying Lots to lock it up. Triangle. He's got the triangle locked. It's going to be a, I think it's, he's sealed it, the deal is here. Is it a wrap, Dill? Absolutely. Wow. Yep, tapped out. Wow. Oh, Excellent. Got right out of Very it. impressive from Nate. He hasn't been fighting in a while. No, he's taking some time off. So that's the fine line between, yeah, getting punched in the face and winning by submission. So. Absolutely. you got to take a few to get a submission like that. Yeah. That's a perfect example of the sweet art of jiu-jitsu and how it's leveraged in physics over power. The other guy was blasting him, but he was setting up that triangle. Absolutely. A jiu-jitsu fighter will know a punch from there, right? A punch from that angle, it will daze you. You may see some stars, but as long as you get that triangle choke locked up, you can see you can seal the deal right there. Yeah, but you don't want to take too much punishment on the bottom because you can get beat up. So and that's the fine line that you just did right there. That's like Greg Nelson says: submit, sweep, stand up. When you're on the bottom, you need to be active doing something, either turning them over to the top. That's what Dylan's so good at. He's so good at sweeping people. So he'll start on the bottom. You'll be on top. He'll sweep you. Then he's on top. And then it's, he starts it's just because I'm no good at it's because I'm no good at takedowns. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Meat sauce is gonna come train with us some Friday night. Yeah, he's going to come down to Lake, though. Ask, yeah. the he's on the radio. What channel are you on? Uh, KFAN. Okay. KFAN, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Come down. Really cool. Yeah, real cool.